Ladies and gentlemen, here's Dr. Phil. It's time to get real with Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil is the number one talk program in the country. Dr. Phil. Are you ready for the one and only Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. We love you, Dr. Phil. We love you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, the call. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Let's give a big Tulsa welcome for Dr. Phil McGraw. Yes. I do set a goal every time I do this. I can't sing, I can't dance, and I can't draw a straight line. My goal is to give everybody one thing at least. I want to give you guys an edge in this life. Is the world full of right fighters? Instead of being right, ask yourself, is this working or not working? You don't tell your kids, do this. Why? Because I'm your father. Well, how's that working for you? She comes in with his fourth tattoo and fifth piercing. You're right, but it's not working for you. Just ask yourself this, what kind of partner are you to live with? Are you a lot of fun? Or do you walk around like you got a bug up your ass all the time? <laughs> I'm just asking. She gets pregnant with Jay. We get pregnant with Jay. <laughs> She's telling me, you want to come in the delivery room, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> I'm saying, sure, wouldn't miss it for the world. I go in there and the doctor says, would you like to be down here or up at her head? I'll be at her head, thank you. <clears throat> and he says, would you like a mirror? <laughs> a mirror? Are you kidding me? Are we gonna park this or deliver it? <laughs> and then I get through that, I think it's over with. And he turns around and says, would you like to cut the cord? No! <laughs> Hell, I thought the baby would fly around the room if you cut that cord. <laughs> what I want is out of here. I still get in trouble all the time because I don't compliment her soon enough. <laughs> like, she'll spend five hours getting ready and she'll come in there just as I'm getting out of the shower because I just got home. She'll come walking in like... <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, um, what am I wearing tonight? She'll say, oh, well, thank you. I spent four hours, I said, I'm not even trying yet. Give me a minute. I said, you look great. It doesn't count if I have to tell you. As you sit there tonight, something in your life is missing. What if there's something you can do where you can have a phenomenal family, where your kids can be healthy and strong and safe and secure? What if there is a whole other quality of life than what you're living right now? That's what this is all about. How are you? Let me tell you why we're here tonight. I was asked to come here last year in the aftermath of Katrina. I had the opportunity to work with the men and women who, when things turned into chaos, they stepped up and filled the gap for everybody here. And let me tell you, I have a theory. I don't believe that crisis and difficult situations cause people to be heroes. I think crisis and difficult situations cause people to be more of who they were before it happened. And that's what happened here. We honored the people tonight that have made a huge difference. And what can I say? I'll just leave it at that. It's time in America to put families on project status. If you fight in front of your kids, you change who they are. And kids have a unique ability to fill everything vague into their own detriment. They hear you fighting about money, you know what they do? They'll go back and sit on their bed and go, man, if I hadn't needed those $11.40 for my school pictures, mom and dad wouldn't be fighting. Your children are gonna say, you know, I can remember when my mom and dad both got laid off and they taught me about dignity and respect. That's what you gotta show these kids. I want you to hear me. I want you to say, you know what? I got a wake up call in my life. I heard some things I needed to hear. That's what I wanna say.
I want you to say, I believe in my life. I believe in my family. I will not surrender. I will live this life with passion and let's march. That's what I want to hear you say. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my story and I'm sticking to it. Thank you.